What's Gucci and the Gucci everyone, I'm Rai, you're watching Funkamon, and today I am on route right now to go pick up a bunch of personal grails. Um, so I'll let you know when I grab them. I'm supposed to put the money in the, in the red slit, and the pops are going to be on the porch apparently. Guess we'll find out. Alright, we have the money here, so we're walking up the steps. Right here, he said to put the money in this way. Like so, and apparently the pop should be... Alright we are back home now, as you can see, I am in my trusty Funko Pop room. And so as you saw in the title, it says picking up some personal grails. Now, a grail to some people is a Funko Pop that's over $100. Some people, you know, think it's like 200 or 300. I don't really care what they think. To me, these are Funko Pops that I've been wanting to get since I found out Funko Pops were a legit thing, like a couple months ago. I know I was late to the party. Don't be mad. So, growing up as a kid, my favorite things were smashing that thumbs up button. <laughs> Help. Help me help you help me, okay? So don't forget, smash that thumbs up button. It really helps the channel out. So growing up, my favorite things were, boom, Ninja Turtles. So I have this, you know, like two foot Raphael here. I have this pillow over here. See ya! I have a bunch of other Ninja Turtle stuff. Like this guy here, Leonardo, like squishy. Kobe! Two points. And then I have a bin here full of three... 300 or 400 Ninja Turtle action figures. And a lot of people ask me, why Ninja Turtles? I don't really know. What? Quiet! S uh, since I was a kid, for some reason I was just drawn to them. Um, I don't know, I, I just like all the characters. My favorite's definitely Michelangelo, because he's a party dude, and I used to be a party dude, but now I'm just, you know. Anyway, <laughs> my favorite's definitely Michelangelo. Uh, I like, like the villain, like Shredder. He's a savage, right? No, I mean, I could really care less for April and Casey Jones, like, whatever. But, I mean, they got cool, cool storylines and stuff like that. So, without further ado, these are the four grails that I picked up to add to my collection. So, currently, I own from that set Raphael, Michelangelo, Leonardo, Donatello, Shredder, Casey Jones, Baxter, Stockman, and Leatherhead. Bam! That's a decent pickup, you know what I mean? So, today, though, whoo, today, boy, we got, boom. Foot soldier. The, these are hard to find. These are from tw oh, this pop right here is from 2014. All right, so I picked up a foot soldier. This box is mess though. If you wanted to see a mess box, that's this box. Look at that. It does have damage on it, so just kind of shitty, but that's okay. I need this pop. I love this. So we got a foot soldier there. It's funny. You can see. You can feel these boxes are. Uh, they feel a lot cheaper than the new ones. I don't know if it's just me or anything. They just feel very thin. So, and they're faded. Uh, so the next one we picked up, April O'Neil. I don't really care for her. This is more for Michaela. She loves. Um, well, it's for me, but like, she really likes April. So that's her. She's already in a pop protector because for stuff that I'm keeping personally. In my collection, I put it in protectors because I don't want it to get ruined because I love them. Next, we picked up. Save that one for last. Boom. Splinter. Look at this. Splinter, baby. Woo! These boxes are mint, except for that foot soldier. That one. Woo! Look at that, baby. Really excited about these guys. And the last one I picked up. This one's pretty expensive. It was like 70 bucks. Bebop, baby. Bebop. So the only pop that I'm missing from the line is Rocksteady, and he's trending at like 85 bucks right now. So eventually I'll get him, but right now I am really happy with all three of these. So I'm gonna unbox a few of them. Not gonna go through all four. No one wants to see that. You know what I mean? Let's start with this uh, foot soldier. Let's get this thing kitchen knife here. Be right back. All right. So we got this foot soldier out now. So for us. So in the comments down below, I want you guys to tell me what your yeah, uh, favorite or top grail is. Mine right now are those Kirk Hammett pops. I think they're trending at like 300 bucks. But like personal grails, 
this guy right here. I think he's worth like 70 or 80 bucks. So, so the detail on these guys back in 2014 is pretty legit. The paint jobs are nice. Like these pops are in mint condition. The guy that had them, he said he never took them out of box. So I can appreciate that. But the one box is just messed. And the funny thing about this is, so I don't know if people know, but Ninja Turtles is actually owned by Nickelodeon. You can see it has a Nickelodeon sticker there. Ain't that neat? Ain't that something? Ain't that something? Pretty sweet. But yeah, this, this box is jacked up. So that's all right. I'll, I'll find a new box. And I'll do a, a box swap. Uh, so the other one I'm going to take out is going to be Beep Up because the detail on this pop is savage. One sec. Oh, oh boy, it's the Slipes, my favorite. Prepare to... Alright, so the backstory on Bebop, he's one of the Ninja Turtles... I don't say arch enemies, but a villain. Him and Rocksteady. So Rocksteady was a human that was morphed with a rhino, and Bebop was a human morphed with a warthog. Slash pig or whatever. Look, he's got the nose ring. He's got the brass knuckles there. He's chilling, vaping. He's got that rat... <laughs> A rat tail savage. I love the detail on this pop. 2014. All right. So the reason why I'm not gonna unbox April or Splinters, I think they're pretty simple characters. Like the, the, she's just a girl, like a news reporter. All right, and he's just like a rat. So I don't think there's anything too crazy about them. Plus they're already in their protectors because they're ready to go in their home. Home? That's your home? Are you too good for your home? Answer me! Yeah. Comment, rate, subscribe. Holla back at your boy. Follow us on Instagram if you haven't already. We're going to be taking a picture of these, posting them up. I know they're going to get a fire like, a fire like, a bunch of fire likes. So other than that, I'm Ryan. I'm in a great mood because I finally have added these. I just need one more and I'll have the whole set. Then i got to get the metallic ones and then the minis and then my life will be complete. That's it. Then I can stop collecting. Just kidding. Other than that, I'm Ryan. You're watching Pokemon. Hope you guys have a great day when, when you're watching this. And that's Bebop. And we'll catch you in the next one.